Welcome to Creative Glamour, I'm Cecilia. Today I'm going to be showing you how to blend in or cover up a port wine stain or as you might know it, a strawberry birthmark. The whole idea of today's look is not making it look like he's wearing any makeup but just covering up the actual port wine birthmark. So for today I am going to be using our color corrector and concealer palette. So for today you are going to be using your green color corrector and then making use of your concealer colors to just soften the greenness. The greenness is only there to be using it as a neutralizer. So it's taking away some of the green coloring and then you are going to go in with your concealers giving up some coverage over that specific area. And at the end of the day, bringing some extra coloring back into it again so that you can have it look a little bit more like the other side. So what I've got on my palette here is I've used the green color corrector over there and then I've just dotted some of my concealer colors from lighter to darker shades onto my palette. So as I said, we are just trying to make it look very natural. So once again, take your green color corrector. I'm using a green dot number 20 brush with this one because I want it to be nice and soft. Make sure that you warm up your color corrector onto your palette so it will just make it a little bit easier with application. Another option of doing this is using your alcohol activated paint palette. Um, what makes it nice with your alcohol activated paint palette is that it makes it very easy for you to have a long wearing application if it is for a long day. But if you're just doing this for a specific photo shoot and you need it covered up just for that one thing, then this is an easy solution as well. So as you can see, you really need only a small amount of coloring and it already starts taking and toning down the redness. If you use too much of your green color corrector, you'll have a very light to the skin tone which does make it much harder to get all your other colorings to come back into your face area so if you've covered that already you can see now that a lot of the redness has already gone away so now you want to start bringing in some of your actual skin tone coloring and even if you look at all of the skin tone coloring you can see some redness in it if you were doing a full face of makeup and you actually wanted the whole face concealed and covered up then that would be an easy way as well just to carry on doing your full face of makeup after this step um, once again when you get to this area you want to make sure that you do more of a dab motion you can maybe use a sponge rather and do a little bit of a dab motion so that that color that you've applied stays there and you are kind of putting some extra stuff on top of that it's more of a buildable kind of application than what it is kind of taking your brush and having more long movements now i'm going to be taking more of my skin tone concealer colors remember to warm it up and then start doing a little bit of dab motions. This is a very soft application. It's a very light hand that you're using to be able to apply this coloring onto that area. So I've started with the lighter color so that I can just make sure I lighten it up as much as I need it to be. And then I can start adding a little bit of my darker shades once I've achieved enough of the lightness. So now I'm going in with the darker shade. Remember to heat it up a little bit on your brush. So once you've got it up to this point, you can see that now you no longer can really see that underlying color anymore of your strawberry birthmark or port wine stain and this is where you want to start getting in with a little bit of a buffing brush and just softly giving some kind of buffing. So for my buffing brush I'm going to be using the yellow dot number 11 because it's nice and small and it is quite soft. I just want to make sure that all this coloring just 
blends into each other a little bit more. Very, very soft application. Okay, so at this point in time, you can see that you have got all of that covered, but the amount of coloring that is naturally in his face has now got, gotten lost, covered up in that specific area. And that's where you are going to be using your techniques to bring some of this coloring back in. So what I've done now, I've placed the red adjuster, the yellow adjuster and the brown adjuster onto my palette. So these are in your foundation shade palettes where you can color adjust any of your foundations. So the consistency is not 100% the same as the concealers, but because we're going to be using such small amounts of these, they're still going to be working with the concealers. So I'm going back to my smaller brush and then I want to first start bringing in a little bit of that natural pinkiness in the skin tone. So I'm going to take some of the red adjuster and mix it in with some of my concealer colors and just getting a very light but more pinky toned coloring. Because the skin texture as well has got different colorings, that's why when doing more of a dab motion, you are going to have a little bit, some areas have lighter colors, some areas having a bit more darker colors, and then at the end of the day, you are start going to start getting that same kind of texture that you have on the other side. So with an even smaller brush, I'm going to even take some of my brown. If you look at some of your pigmentation that you've got here, then you want to give some of that pigmentation effect as well. So when you look into this area over here, you'll see that there's a little bit more redness. So that's what I want to bring in on this area as well. So taking once again my smaller brush, mixing it with some of the red color adjuster and then some of my concealer colors. So you'll see I'm taking my brush a little bit more upright in angle so that I have even a thinner application on the cheek area. So once you got to this point, you might want to just take a little bit of a brighter blush kind of shade and just add it to some of those areas because even with your red adjuster, it's more of a richy browny kind of copper red. So therefore, some of this pinkiness that you want to see, yeah, the easiest thing is to take some of your blush shades, very, very small amount, and just go and dab it softly onto those areas. So for this, you're going to be using some of your concealer colors and lightly dusting them onto your fluffy brush and just tone down any of those excessively red areas. So this whole idea of this is making it look excessively natural. The person doesn't want it to look like they're wearing any kind of makeup. But by using a little bit of your concealer color this way on the rest of the face, you will hardly see that makeup on the skin and it will just make that your one side and your other side just totally blends in perfectly and if there's any kind of areas that you wanted to correct for the specific shoot making it look like it's still very natural you could still go in and do your color correctors under your eye areas anything like that where you want to hide some of your blueness or redness still as well but this is basically the idea of making it look 100% still like the person, but still having that port wine stain covered up. 
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like our videos and subscribe to our channel.